Virginia and the fight for the votes of coal workers. Secretary Clinton struggling to gain their support after threatening to put the coal industry out of business and transform their lives of those who work in it. That is rubbing many people in coal country the wrong way, even some Democrats. We're going to put a lot of coal miners and coal companies out of business. When she was talking about the miners as if they were just numbers, and she was talking about she wants the mines closed and she will never let them work again. It was a misstatement because what I was saying is that the way things are going now, we will continue to lose jobs. Those people labored in those mines for generations, losing their health, often losing their lives to turn on our lights and power our factories. Now we've got to move away from coal. The miners don't want to leave anyway, is that right? You want to stay here. You want to open the mines. We're going to open the mines. West Virginia House of Delegates member and a Democrat, Ruby Phillips, is back here to go on the record. Good evening, sir. Good evening, Greta. How are you doing? Very well. So, Ruby, you're a Democrat. Did you uh, vote today? Yes, ma'am, I did. Did you vote Democrat or Republican? Well, in the primary here, you've got to vote uh, Democrat if you're a Democrat. So you we don't voted have that option. Okay, so with all the controversy over with Secretary Clinton and the business with the coal country, you vote Clinton or Sanders? Actually, Greta, I voted for Paul, for Paul, uh, get it right here, Paul Farrell out of Huntington, West Virginia. He is on the ballot only in West Virginia. All right, well, we'll see how he does uh, when the polls close in about 28 minutes in your state. Um, how do you expect uh, Secretary Clinton to do tonight? I mean, have, have, have she, has she sort of resolved the problem that she had with the coal miners? No, ma'am. I think uh, it wouldn't surprise me if she comes dead in, dead last in last place. I mean, it's that simple. Why, do, why did you vote as you did? What, uh, why did you vote for Sanders? Uh, Sanders is against coal, too. And, and, you know, Greta, it's like, I think I might have told you last week, I don't, or told your people, I don't support anybody that don't support coal. It's that simple. So that's why the no to Sanders? Yes. And you know, like I said, Paul Farrell, he's from West Virginia. Uh, he supports coal. And, you know, it's more of a statement vote for me to, to vote for Paul. How about your colleagues in the coal industry? Where do you think, or who do you think they're going to vote for tonight? Uh, there'll be a lot of no votes, and uh, I think you'll see uh, a lot of uh, votes for uh, Paul Farrell. How bad is the uh, coal industry? The, I mean, what, tell, me, tell me what's going on in the coal industry there and, and how tough it is. Greta, the mines right now, the majority of the mines we have working, which is in the low 50s, they're running coal three to four days a week just to keep the doors open and pay a few bills. Uh, they're struggling. A lot of coal companies have filed bankruptcy throughout the country. And uh, it, it's really tough times these days. Employment is what? I take it that when you, you're going to have a reduced employment when you, you know, with that scene you just painted. It's, you broke up on me. Can you repeat, please? I said I assume that there's a lot of unemployment in the coal industry. Oh, yes, ma'am. Thousands on thousands of people out of work. And, and not just coal miner jobs. It's the people that support the coal companies, too, or the coal mines. Uh, you know, it's roughly... Uh, five support people to one coal miner. All right, because in the primary you can't cross over to vote Republican um, in West Virginia, as you so instructed me. Uh, tell me, um, in the general election, when you have your choice between, let's say, it's Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton, who's going to get your vote? Oh, Donald Trump all the way. Why? He's for coal. He's our only shot in West Virginia we have. To, to, mine our coal mine, to mine our coal in West Virginia, our coal miners need Donald Trump. What's he going to do for needs you? Donald Trump. What's, what's he going to do for you? you know, Donald Trump, I, I, I believe Trump will create more jobs throughout the country. In essence, will also create more energy consumption. And coal is the most sustainable energy they are. The Secretary Clinton said she has a $30 billion uh, proposal that she laid out last November. Is that not convincing to anybody to help uh, the coal miners? You know, Greta, like I told you last week, we're not looking for handouts. I know you said it's not really a handout, but you know, we don't want to move. We want to mine coal. We're good coal miners here in West Virginia. And, and you know, I was thinking all day when I, I knew I was coming on your show, you know, Greta, West Virginia has more love, more heart than probably any other state in the country. And we, our state has come to call every time our country has needed our men and women to go to war and fight for our freedom. 
our mining has produced more coal to produce energy and the steel to make the ships and the tanks to give us our freedom. My hat's off to the coal miners and the people in West Virginia and the other mining states. And my hat goes off to the coal miners as well. So it's a very tough work. Ruby, thank you for joining us, and we'll be watching because now it's 24 minutes until the polls close in West Virginia where Ruby is, and it could be a tight race on the Democratic side. <laughs>